Moving on now, and Americans are commemorating 22 years since the 9-11 attacks as memorial ceremonies take place to honour the fallen. First responders are also calling attention to the pain many former 9-11 rescuers are still grappling to manage. Today, the country remembers the nearly 3,000 people who died and the acts of heroism that followed after the deadliest terror attack on U.S. soil. We have the memorial pools, and I come here often, and I say my thoughts and prayers to my brother. Friends and family members of those who were killed on September 11th are holding on to the memories of their loved ones. The children of my sister, Diane Bullis Snyder, they have evolved into amazing human beings. And one of the things that I notice when we spend time together is that I'm blessed with a glimpse into the spirit of my sister. Monday marks 22 years since the attacks at New York's World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and the airplane crash site in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. But while memorial ceremonies for those who died will take place across the country, the New York City Fire Department is also calling attention to 9-11 first responders still struggling with lasting health effects from handling toxic materials at ground zero. For them, 9-11 is every day. The number of firefighters who died from 9-11 related illnesses continues to rise. The FDNY recently added 43 new names. This brings the total post 9-11 members added to the wall to 331. And while today will carry a solemn note, New York City Mayor Eric Adams says it's important to remember how the losses brought the country together. I remember September 12th, uh, this city got up. Uh, when we got up, America watched. Instead of attending the memorial events at the attack sites, President Joe Biden will honor the victims with remarks at an Air Force base in Anchorage, Alaska after returning from Vietnam.